Dude, he just hit my van. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and what you just saw happened while we were filming this video, but we'll talk more on that later. So make sure you watch through the whole video so you can see what happened. But anyways, we're back at J&J Auto Wrecking today to work on another salvage car for them. And they brought us a really cool Porsche Panamera with a full Onyx body kit and a complete custom interior, which the owner estimated after everything was bought put on all of that, that this car costed close to $120,000 to build. And specifically this car was pulled out of a river. So we helped clean it up. That way the salvage yard can part out what pieces are still good and usable and sell them to other people who may need them to work on their own Porsches. So this car will never ever be sold to anybody. And once it's parted out, the rest will be crushed and sold to scrap. So no, we're not helping them clean up a flood car to sell to an unknowing buyer because that's very illegal to do. But anyways, I haven't done this in a very long time. I want to set a light goal in this video because we worked really hard on it and we did it absolutely for free. So I know you guys can help us smash it and it helps us get this video out to more people. So let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes. And as for the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. With a car that was just pulled out of a river like this one, what parts on it do you think are still salvageable on the inside and the outside to be saved and parted out? Leave your answers down below. So starting the detail, you see this passenger seat that RJ's pulling out. I have to complain right now because we got there to start this video at 8 a.m. that day and we couldn't start until noon because that seat alone did not come out for four hours, guys. I'm not joking. We had to have someone from J&J &J use a saw to cut it out. So safe to say the rails on that are completely toast and it was not fun at all. <sighs> Now at this point, we started cleaning under where the back seat sits and we found some of the water that was from the river that this car was pulled out of. But you know what else you could find in rivers besides Porsches? fish. We want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Fishing Clash, because without them getting this crazy content for you guys would not have been possible. If you didn't already know this, we do almost every single detail on this channel for free. So their support means that we can keep doing this stuff for you guys. And in turn, if you guys help support us, we can keep making these awesome videos for you. Fishing Clash is a mobile game where you could travel all around the world and fish in different locations and enjoy some really cool atmospheres all from the comfort of your home. With some of the most realistic graphics you've ever seen in a mobile game, you no longer need to spend time preparing for your favorite hobby because it's available right from your pocket. The funny thing is, RJ actually told me about this game before they even reached out to us because he had it on his phone, so I had it on my phone as well. And we've both been playing it, taking parts in the weekly competitions and upgrading our rods and lures to compete with other fishers in order to catch the biggest fish we could find. And with all that being said, right now is the perfect time for you to download the game because between April 18th and April 25th, 2022, there's gonna be an in-game event called the Earth Week. Based on in-game activity from us, the players, money's gonna be raised to plant trees in the Amazon. So if you wanna support us and get a really cool in-game welcome bonus as well, 
Click the link in our description or scan the QR code on your screen to download the game and use our gift code FISHWITHWD to get a three-star rod, a mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish right out the gate. And trust me guys, as someone who's been playing the game for a while and started out with no extra help, you don't want to pass up on this opportunity. So thank you again to Fishing Clash for sponsoring us and let's get back to the detail. So working on the leathers and the plastics, we noticed after this car was pulled out of the river and it sat for quite a while, it began to grow mold and not just regular mold, black mold as well. And unfortunately the mold had enough time to sit to damage the plastics, but we still gave it a good clean anyways. And if you guys are curious about any of the products we use, they're all listed in the description below. So as we all know, you normally wouldn't just drown all these buttons with all-purpose cleaner, but because this car is never gonna be functional again, that's what we did, and the result actually turned out really good.
Okay, so all we have is the security footage of what happened. But as you can see, we were right here doing our detailing and we left our van off to the side right here. And a transport truck was leaving with some items for the day. And I guess he just didn't see our van or he just made too wide of a turn. And unfortunately he clipped our van and pulled it a good five feet. So I'll let you guys watch and see it for yourself. Luckily though, none of us were anywhere near it. Nobody got hurt. Everything's being taken care of in a really professional manner. So we understand people make mistakes and there's nothing against the guy that was driving the truck, nothing against J&J &J cause it's not their fault. So everything's being handled and we're all good. But I will say I had my AirPods in when it happened and I just heard RJ walking outside yelling cause the truck driver drove away and RJ just was really mad at the time for the first like couple minutes because I mean if someone hits your van and then drives away obviously you're gonna be pretty upset so I just kind of like was freaking out because I didn't know what had happened and then a few minutes later we were able to calm down and look back on it and uh yeah. So from what I was told, these seats are completely custom and I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm sure some of you guys know that I have a WRX and if I put a bunch of time and money and all that into completely customizing my own car and then it ended up in a river or in a flood and became completely inoperable, I would be pretty devastated. So I feel really bad for the guy or girl who owned this car because clearly they put a lot of effort into making it look how they wanted it to. But if you guys know anything about this custom interior, leave some comments down below because I don't really know much about it.
And with the whole interior done, we finally moved on to the exterior and we just gave it a really quick wash. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And again, thank you to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to download it using our link in the description and use our promo code FISHWITHWD to get an awesome starter pack. But with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and we'll see you guys next Friday.